This is the Archer's Choice. Seven, seven years. Seven years. Of the s- Archer's Choice. Is that the seven year itch? You know, we sure hope you ain't tired of us. And, and talking about that, with more and more shows popping up and everything going on, especially in TV, <laughs> we want to let you know something. We so appreciate and never take for granted what, what you all the viewers do for us. And that is, we realize the value of you taking 30 minutes of your, of your day, your of, busy life of your and schedule. schedule and sitting down and watching it. And we want you to know that we are gonna do our utmost to keep you entertained, excited, keep that adrenaline rush going and being real. Because without you, none of this is possible. And we just wanted to say thanks. Utmost? Utmost, that's a big word for me. Utmost, oh, okay. Well, one of the ways we say thanks Yes. is the quiver of dreams. The quiver of dreams. Do you like? (laughs) Yeah, you're quivering. But what we did is we put together a program. We had a, a brainstorm of an idea. Yes. To say thank you to our viewers. And Last we want summer. everyone to realize that we are gonna continue doing this every year. Yes. And this season is brand new. So that means we have the second Archer's Choice Quiver of Dreams. Right, coming up. And it's usually on our forum. But before we get into showing you Christy and Shorty, the people that got the Quiver of Dreams, Um, We need to talk about our Lucky Logo. Just like on The Choice, our other show on Archer's Choice, we are going to have the Lucky Logo also. Sponsors Lucky Logo. And this week, it's going to be Hoyt. It's going to look like this, but it's it's not this This is not the one. This is not the Lucky Logo. It's going to look like this, but it's not the one. And what you need to do at the end of the show... Is you're going to watch where it appears secretively, secretively. Yes, and then we're going to go and tell you where to go on what website to find out where you need to go and enter your information. So we're trying to give you all kinds of exciting things and chances, well, to do what we're doing and use what we're using. That's right. So now let's go into our quiver of dreams, shall we? The quiver okay. of and dreams. And I will try to make them not talk as much this whole season. She talked way more than I do. Way more. <laughs> it's a little breezy out here in Nebraska, but we had to stop and get some balloons for Christy and Shorty. That's quiver right. Of dreams. We're gonna go make someone's quiver of dreams reality. Oh, sorry, the balloons got in his face. Can you get arrested for driving with balloons? I don't know. Hey, Shorty. Hey, buddy. How are you? <laughs> well, that's cool to hear. Hey, what, what's your address? Because we wanted to send you guys some stuff. Okay, what color is your house? Yeah, well, why, why don't you come out the front door? Why don't you come out the front door? <laughs> hey, guys! Hey, guys! How you doing? How you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, how you guys doing? Oh, no, now you understand buddy. why we need you guys to be home! Chris, now how you are you? Yes. Yes. How you doing? Nice and smile. <laughs> nice to meet Surprise! Surprise. We've been trying to put this together for a while. I'm telling you right now. T-shirts, some gloves, some netting. We want you to know, Hoyt, their new line is just coming out. And both of you guys are going to get brand new Hoyts. We want you to go through the catalog and check, look, you know, look at what you want. Balloons, parades, everything. Was that cool or what? You thought like you were like giving away like a Think gazillion. about it. You know, we have to thank so much our sponsors. Well, all of our sponsors were so excited They were about overwhelmed this. with the idea. That's what was so cool. They were like, sure, we would participate and, in and, it. And for us to go, and I mean, it took us for a while to try getting hold of Christy and Shorty. Yep. To, to get them signed, hooked up so that we could actually show up at the house. They had no idea we were going to be there, which was so cool. And we want to thank Ken Gangler from Canadian Subarctic because he gave us a bear hunt. And that's where they're going. In fact, we leave in less than a month yes. to go on this hunt. So you guys will see it probably next year on Archer's Choice. Right. And I mean, the big thing is, is again, all it is, is we just, we're blessed that, that we came up with the idea of saying thank you. And what way to do it then, our sponsors donated all the all of the gear that we use. Right. One of our great outfitters donated a hunt. And you, the viewers, have a chance to do it. It's so cool. And we want to invite you both to come hunting with us. Up there hunting this spring, you guys can make it. 
If you can oh, make yeah. it, I mean, if, it, if, okay. it's, if it's a twist your arm kind yeah, of thing, we, we, we don't want you to come with. He wants to know if he has to get on an airplane. Yes. Oh, yeah, actually, come. There, with a shirt like that, you're afraid of a plane? And, and just so you know, it no, starts off really <laughs> The plane is fine. It's when you hit the ground. Oh, no. no. Shorty, I heard that you're afraid of flying. <laughs> the plane, the plane. Ah. No. You're sitting back. You've never seen them back into the ground. They always go yeah, first. these guys going to cushion me? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. it. I told them they do make these little pills that make you just go, yeah, you like, yeah. Okay. And actually, so you start off in a really big plane, so you get used to it, and then as you get to Thompson, you get in a smaller you plane, you and the then you then you get into the next one where you land on the water. So you know. So would you guys like to go? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can, get can, a he's, I don't know. Like, I don't she's going going like, like, okay, okay, if he doesn't want to go, you can bring someone else. Okay, well, that's Tara. There you go, there Tara. You. you can come on bear hunt with us. Dad can stay home. That's it. You know. Ooh. Welcome back to Archer's Choice. Yeah, now we're going to go to Colorado. The first night out, we had this little buck the whole night. Uh, For like 20 minutes, he didn't stop. He had that little doe underneath us. and It's just some really cool footage. Watch the footage. If we do this, will you stop breathing? <laughs> it might come out the other end. Uh -oh. <laughs> Due to all the piles of emails, we are bringing back the bow hunting world tip of the week. So get ready, because we're going to educate you on some really cool things. I love spotting and stalking, especially those big muleys. And well, sometimes you get them and sometimes you don't.
was that awesome or what? But did you see the doe here? The doe was right there. I never even saw her. Son of a gun. Man, he hesitated. I put the pin on and right, he just took off. Oh. I was 30, 34 yards from him. And she, she, she spooked you. Oh, she was laying right there. Never saw her. Never saw what her. Made him get up. Her. I never saw her. I only saw her. She, she was laying down. She had to be with her chin down. And I'm looking all around, but I'm watching his tines. I figured he's going to face her. Boy, was I wrong. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. I thought we'll find that arrow. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Oh, you talk about it. We went from the Quiver of Dreams. We drove all night to Colorado to see Brother Billy. Yes. And Vicki, I am so proud of you that, folks, I'm going to tell you, 203 and 5 sixteenths. 5 eighths. 5 eighths. I tried to make it a little smaller. I know. Two, that's one of the largest bucks ever taken on camera by a woman, if not the largest. This is my bow. Unbelievable. In the mm -hmm. wild. And, and this is my special Hoyt Vectrix and, that and, I shot it with. And, <clears throat> and I was filming. I wasn't hunting. Yeah. It was awesome. It honey. was awesome. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, November 16th, 2006, I was blessed with a giant deer. Let's roll the footage, shall we? Boom. Roll that wonderful big buck footage. <laughs> <laughs> big bucks. Massive deer. I have to admit, I had buck fever just as bad. I was shaking and nervous, and I mean, it was just going crazy. <laughs> he had this stand last night. We saw all kinds of deer, obviously, because there's a ton of them out there in that green field. There's a really good eight-pointer with a fork G2 out there. A really good one. And I was playing with my side. I was putting it at 30. And then all of a sudden I see he's coming closer and closer. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to put it to 20. So I put it to 20. And he came and I was going to just make a bat noise. And I decided I didn't want to booger him at all. And when his front leg went forward, I'm in a tree stand. We're up about, what, 12 feet? 16. Okay, we're 16, 18 feet up. My arrow went in and went down into him. He went over there and stood. And then he took a... Like a kind of like one of them dead deer runs that way. And when he ran, I could see my exit. 
and there was lots and lots and lots of good sign. Welcome back, back to the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. Does this remind you of anything? <laughs> okay, so the, that morning, before we ever got in that tree stand, that morning we were glassing that field and we saw that giant buck out there. We saw him, we didn't see him up close. That afternoon, we're you didn't in the need tree to stand. see him up close, Vic. No, you didn't need to. You didn't even need binoculars. But then, you and I, we get in the tree stand, November 16th, and six shootable bucks come out in a row, one right after the other, and he's in the very back end of it. Did we ever tell you we love Colorado? <laughs> love it. But, so we tried grunting, we tried rattling, and the only thing that actually brought him in was a snort wheeze, our easy wheeze from HS. Yeah. And it was amazing. I wish we had three hours to tell you everything that happened on that hunt, but we don't. So let's just go and recover my book. Vicki wants to bronze, bronze her little snort wheeze, huh? Yes. The easy wheeze? Yes, and I'm never getting rid of my Vectrix, ever. No, ever. 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 It's a I big buck. I don't know if Mike Looper will be happy big about buck. that, Randy. And, and, well, you know, life goes on. <laughs> <laughs> just waited 45 minutes. This is where he started to sag out. There's my arrow. Shockwave baby. Oh, be men. Okay. That's a good sign. What? Biggest deer I've ever shot in my life. This is the heaviest look at buck this. I've ever seen. This, hey, look at the mass on this side. I can't even begin to tell you what this is. This is just, oh my goodness. And again, if it wasn't for my little, my HS, mm -hmm. my, my easy wheezy, oh, he wouldn't be sitting here in front of me. Yeah, it's a little messy. A little red on the ground here, but and my new white Vectrix just got it two weeks ago. If that first animal down with it, and oh my gosh! And hey, guys at Hoyt, I'm never getting rid of this bow, it's mine, and I will forever and ever, ever hunt with it. Oh my gosh, <sighs> Ralphie, thank you, honey. Thank you, honey. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Freddie, Ma, RJ. Buddy, you gave me that big good luck kiss before he left. And you know what? I need to call you. I need to call you right now and let you know you that I shot the biggest buck that I've ever seen. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> oh, gosh. Did you like my, my deer? Unbelievable. What can you I, say but unbelievable? We could say that I now have the biggest white tail in the San Cerullo household. We could say that. Couldn't Why? we? Why? Why did you have to go there? Because it's me. <laughs> Hey, we want to thank you all for joining us and sharing this special hunt with us. And don't forget about the Quiver of Dreams because it's happening real soon. Right, and the Lucky logo. We told you at the beginning of the show you had to look for the Hoyt Lucky logo. It's not going to be on our equipment or on our shirts and stuff like that. It's going to be in nonchalant areas, places you'll see the Lucky logo, the sticker, our sponsors, somewhere else besides on our shirt or on our equipment, okay? So Hoyt was this week's Lucky logo. I you need to know log on to huntingnet.com slash Archer's Choice and give us the information where you think you might have seen the Lucky Hoyt logo. <laughs> Look at you. You can't take this man anywhere. We Thanks for making you. Archer's Choice.
your choice? No, honey, it's the other show. Oh. We'll see you next week, same time, same, same channel. Same channel. On the Archer's Choice. Wow. Nice going. I had too much apple in my mouth.